what's going on everybody welcome to a brand new episode of american truck simulator and today we are going to be continuing our potato runs with dot foods and this skin is available on the steam workshop with the volvo 760 i believe and you know, the dot uh, trailer and uh, very excited to do this one we are currently back at the adm plant that we loaded from for the last couple episodes except we're on the opposite side of the building now and it was a pretty easy, straightforward, straight back, so I just did not show that in the video and whatnot. So let's go ahead and get loaded up here, and let's go ahead and get out on the open road. All right, guys, so cargo has been loaded. It's about 2 a.m. Uh, game time, and we will definitely be seeing the sunrise on our way to Reno today. So it's about a 450-mile trip. Not too bad for a video. So uh, we're going to go ahead and start up the truck here, and we're going to go ahead and get the heck on out of here. Here is a look at the interior. Now, I will say this. I do not remember what type of engine or transmission I put in this one. Um, because, And that is because I was going to use the same Volvo from the night transportation video I did. But, unfortunately, there was no skin for it. So, I had to put this Volvo in and I did not write down what engine and stuff I put in here. So, I don't know exactly. I believe it's an 18-speed something and something 455 horsepower. I think it's a Detroit diesel that I put in here so but yes go ahead and release the parking brake and let's go ahead and turn on our lights and our flashers and let's go ahead and get on the open road so I think the best way to do this is to go around the plant and just kind of go around and then whatnot because see this right here is where we tip usually loaded up in the previous episodes of this was like right around here so we're on the complete opposite side of the plant here there we go. Got to come back down that old dirt road again. Hopefully you guys are having a good day today so far. I'm actually doing great. I got a mixed drink right here with me. A little bit of Jack Vanilla. Or not Jack Vanilla. Oh. We hit something. A little bit of Jim Beam Vanilla. And some Cherry Coke. So I'm definitely feeling it right now. Been, uh, had about three of them so far today, so... And I decided to come in here and finish these up. It's actually August 15th right now. And we're tearing stuff up on this truck. I'm just going to tell you that right now, everybody. We are tearing stuff up on this truck. Man, it's a little bit busy out here. I will say this, though. It's the first time we're actually headed this way. Because we actually have not explored 93 as of yet from over here as you guys can tell on the map once we get a little bit closer you'll see that it's actually grayed out instead of yellow so we haven't actually explored this portion yet so that'll be kind of new kind of cool new scenery to see even though it's you know it's at night time gonna be taking a left here once the road ends yep I do see the stop sign Nope, we got a broken down vehicle facing the what on earth is all this? What's up with the what? Okay, is the alcohol getting to me or are those lines squiggly? I literally think those lines are squiggly. What the heck? Nope, don't want to go yet and I got a truck coming this way. Okay, we'll be clear on this side, and we're clear after this trucker. Man, those lines are what, those lines are still getting to me, man. Those lines are getting to me. <laughs> I don't know, dude. I, d I think I do remember seeing someone posting about it on one of the Facebook groups I'm in, saying that the lines are squiggly. So I don't. I think it's actually an SCS thing. I don't know. Maybe it's to you know see if you're actually paying attention or not. I don't know. I do remember one thing, another thing. It was in Utah, and it was right after the 1.41 beta came out. It wasn't in the, you know, the private beta. It was actually the actual beta release. And uh, someone said that the one of the interstate signs on one of the interstates was actually in the lane of travel. 
so if you're not paying attention you might you know you're probably gonna hit that so that's why it's a good idea to pay attention in this game because you never know exactly what you're gonna come across you know you got people slamming on their brakes you got signs in the middle of the road you got you know curvy lines like that I don't know if it's like that in real life or you know what but it was definitely kind of odd definitely odd to say the least looks like it's a 65 through here so we're all good there all right got a broken down vehicle over there with the tow truck but yeah I do see a lot of DOT trucks around my area especially when I head to Decatur uh, to deliver sometimes you know I don't typically go there but it's I'm one of the backup drivers that they send over there and I do see a lot and I do mean a lot of DOT trucks so I'm not too sure if they have like a terminal out in Decatur or if like Springfield Illinois but there there are quite a few trucks that I do see and it's pretty much like I don't want to say it's every single truck but it's pretty much like every four or five trucks is gonna be a DOT truck that I see while traversing along I-72 okay so had to pass another broken down vehicle man I swear to god I've seen a lot more broken down vehicles as of recent than I have ever playing ATS so I don't know if it's a setting that I need to change or something but it's kinda getting ridiculous with all these broken down vehicles here we go welcome to Nevada alright slowing down to a 45 Yeah, that Jake break ain't nothing, man. I think we're going about 45. Yeah, we're going about 45, and it slows down to a 35. Coming through jackpot. But, yes, yeah, so no Jake break in the city. We could use it outside on the outskirts, but no Jake break in the city. We are going about 35. There actually is no digital speedometer in this. It's all analog. So if you don't know how to read an analog speedometer, well, you're kind of screwed. <laughs> but yeah, man, I'm looking for more hobbies. That's all I'm going to say. I'm kind of looking for more hobbies to do because, like, I do YouTube and stuff. And uh, I do, you know, in my spare time, not really spare time, but I do make time for it. You know, it's usually me is either work, sleep, and then, you know, go back to work, which I consider content creating to be work, so. But I am looking for some more, like, spare time hobbies. I've recently gotten for Christmas, it was like a, like a starter kit for, like, model building and stuff. And why are we going super slow, guys? Come on. I know it's 35, but come on, people. That box truck's going, oh, because the road's ending. That's nice. Now I just look like a complete idiot. <laughs> oh boy. Oh boy. Alright, Pacific time zone. Alright, 70 miles an hour. Here we go. But yes, recently I've kind of been, you know, I've wa been watching, you know, like storm chasing stuff. I've been kind of watching that ever since high school. And uh, with the recent storms that we've had in Illinois, I don't know, for some reason it just kind of made me want to go out and do like storm chasing, like type stuff. I mean, I do have the GoPro, which I can, you know, mount to my vehicle on the outside or on the inside. I don't know. I know it's a very dangerous, you know, gig. Or not really a gig. A very dangerous hobby and stuff, but I feel like it'd be pretty cool to do. I kind of do also want to get back into, like, the rail fanning stuff that I did. I know when I first started the channel, I used to be gaming, and I would upload, like, a rail fanning video here and there. So I kind of do want to try to get back into rail fanning as well. I feel like that would be a good way to, you know, just clear your mind and just, you know, sit trackside for a couple hours, just hang out. And of course, we got a cop with a disabled vehicle. Good boy. We almost lost control of the truck there. There we go. 55 on the curve. We can do just that. Oh yeah, we're golden. So I literally think this whole stretch right here is something we haven't explored yet. And I do have to kind of look into another road trip series to see where we can go. Ooh, uh, uh. 
Sorry, trucker, I didn't mean to slow you down there, bud. I'm just trying to get to my destination like you are. They really need to, like, put those triangles out a little bit farther than what they are. I mean, especially, you know, you're broken down right before a curve. You know, it's going to be super hard to see if someone's coming through to try to pass them. Luckily, that semi ended up stopping so that we can get through, but... It is going to be super hard to see somebody if, you know, it's especially at nighttime. And they're not running their headlights on, which, you know, a lot of people actually don't have their headlights on at night, so... But yeah, along with the rail fanning, I kind of do want to take a couple, you know, cross-country Amtrak trips. Like, my dad and I, when I used to talk to him, we would always talk about taking the Empire Builder up to Seattle for like a week or something like that. And, I don't know, recently I've kind of been thinking about it, you know, maybe taking a trip down to like New Orleans or something or Florida. You know, just kind of get my... Amtrak guest rewards points back up because I'm pretty sure I have enough points to go to Seattle and back for free And I need to see if I still have those points if they haven't expired or nothing Okay, so we're in the city limits of something here A lot of broken down vehicles man a lot of broken down vehicles But yeah, I, I mean, you guys probably ask, why take Amtrak? Why not fly? You know, Amtrak's always late. They're not reliable as of late. A lot of their locomotives are broken. Look at those 53 double FedEx trailers, man. That's crazy. That is crazy. But I mean, yes, that is true. But I will be honest with you guys. I absolutely hate flying. Like, I cannot stand it. I just don't like being on an airplane. I don't really like being... I mean, I'm not scared of heights, but I just don't like being up in the air like that. And I just can't stand flying. You know, go, having to get there like two, three hours early to have to go through security and all that. And then all the restrictions and guidelines and stuff that they have um, for, you know, what you can bring, what you can't bring. And then, you know, if you can't bring it, they just kind of throw it away or something. So, it's just like, yeah. Yeah, I don't really, you know, want to deal with all of that. So that's why I don't fly. If I have to go anywhere, I'll either take the train or drive. And uh, that's kind of what we're planning on doing for the honeymoon is... Since I'm turning 25 this year, I'll be able to rent a car. And yeah, crazy, I'm actually turning 25 this year. I couldn't believe it when she told me that. I thought I was actually 23, but nope, I'm 24. So we're actually going to rent a car and head on down to Florida for a week. Oh boy. Yep, here comes the sunrise a little bit. And we're probably going to have to pull into the way station. How did I know? How did I know? But yeah, I'm probably going to see if, you know, we take her on, I take her to, you know, we go to Florida and stuff. So I'm going to see if she'll let me do some rail fanning down there while we're down there. Cause I, I, I watch a lot of YouTube real fan and videos and I've seen a lot of good spots where we're going so I'm gonna try to see if she'll let me do some oh, we screwed that up we're gonna have to back her up a little bit there we go 84,624 pounds man not too shabby okay I sure no one's coming in that empty lane there they're always on night we were talking about night <laughs> All right. Uh, I'm gonna come in, so you guys are gonna have to figure something out. And that's what you gotta do, guys. You just gotta push your way through. Say screw them. Just gotta push your way through. But yeah, if you guys also recall in the last potato run we did, I think it was with Prime, we were talking about how I was going to start moving out of the apartment and all that. Well, another reason was because we, a couple weeks ago, we ended up deep cleaning this apartment. And I will say this, this video was pre-recorded on August 15th, so I don't know when, you know, this is going to get uploaded. 
So a couple weeks ago could be like, you know, a month or two ago, so. But we ended up deep cleaning the apartment. And uh, we ended up taking down all the vents and, you know, trying to clean in the vents and all that fun stuff. Well, landlord ended up telling us that he did all the deep cleaning before we ended up moving in. And I'm just going to say that right now is a big fat lie. Because when I took out those vents and I took the vacuum cleaner, you know, into there and all that. I literally, for, we have about five vents in this house and three different rooms. And I probably had to empty out that vacuum cleaner at least six different times. Because of how much dust and all that stuff that was just caked up in our vents. And it literally looked like they haven't been cleaned in years. Even though he said that he cleaned them out like about a month or so before we ended up moving in. I'm like, I really, you know, I'm calling BS on that. Not to mention that for our, he ended up giving us filters for the uh, radiator, I believe. He ended up giving us filters, like air filters and stuff. And we've been living here for about a year, and he finally gave them to us. And on the thing, it said you're supposed to replace, or on the, and there on the thing, it says you're supposed to replace it every, every month. So he gave us two of them. Well, we're trying to make it one last for six months and trying to make the other one last for another six months. Probably before we ever get another one. Because I was about to go buy, you know, I was about to go purchase it ourselves. But then, you know, landlord's supposed to supply all that and whatnot. So the only thing that we really had to pay for here is rocks for our, or not rocks, uh, salt for the water softener we have. Because Paxson has some very, very, very hard water. So that's pretty much the only thing we actually have to pay for that's like utility wise you know including like electricity and you know and elect or electricity water and all that but I'm just talking about for like the appliances in the house which you know buying salt isn't that bad because you know some people don't want the hard water you know some people prefer it so it's you know it's up to you luckily you know I end up having like this one gallon jugs so luckily I can just walk, go up to the machine that's uptown and then get like a quarter or a jug of water for a quarter. So we've kind of been doing that, putting that in like the coffee makers and you know cooking with that and stuff so we don't have to use the hard water and all that. But yeah, so that was definitely a fun experience having to get all that dust and crap out of the uh, freaking vents. I want to say it probably took me about two hours to finish all of it. And I, gu and I guarantee you I didn't even finish all of it because of how dusty and stuff they were. I ended up taking like a duster to go up there and kind of get whatever the vacuum cleaner could. And it just, it was just like stuck on there, like caked on there. And it's just like, nope, nope, nope. Let me try to see if we can pass this bus. Well, we have a chance. There's nobody in the hammer lane. There we go. Oh, look at that Coca-Cola triples, man. Coca-Cola triples. That's something we need to do is haul triples and haul 253 footers again. It's been a while since we've done any of those. Old DOT in the hammer lane. Here's a better look of the truck and trailer combo for you. Now, I do know that DOT actually has a chrome doors on the rear. But with the chrome door option, it doesn't have the option for the... As I said, I suck driving in third person. But yeah, the uh, chrome door option doesn't actually have the logo on it. So I had to use the regular doors and we got to visit the service after that. Okay. We'll be alright. I mean, well, we got like, what, 200 miles left? Yeah, we got 210 miles left. We'll be okay. I suck at driving in third person, man. I really do. <laughs> okay, maybe we should go visit a service. <laughs> oh, boy. I hope there's one down here somewhere. Gonna go to Tonopah. Do hope there is one in Tonopa.
Well, let me actually pull over on the side of the road real quick and just see if there is one in Tonopa. Before I end up taking the exit and you know there's not. Nope, there's not one in Tonopa. There's not one in Winnemucca. Closest station we have is in Reno. Oh, and of course, it's one of our favorite backs. Gotta love it. So yeah, the closest one we have is in Reno. So we're just gonna have to suffer through it and go to Reno with the busted engine. Well, this dude's letting me in. I appreciate it. Thanks, buddy. Go ahead and give him the old tail light. To thank him for letting us in. There's another Coca-Cola triples. So we're just going to have to kind of deal with the engine shutting off on us today, man. That's not going to be good at all. I'm not happy about it, but, you know, sometimes you got to do what you got to do, man. Got to do what you got to do. So one thing I'm actually going to be doing with uh, my American Truck Simulator videos is I noticed in my mod manager that I have a bunch, and I, I literally do mean a bunch of random trailer skins, like just single trailer skins, and I also noticed I have a bunch of random truck skins. So you guys are going to be seeing a lot of random, you know, uh, dry van trailers and stuff coming up on the channel soon. So I'm trying to get those and trying to get those off my mod manager to kind of clean it out a little bit. Why are you driving so slow, ACT? You could have changed your lane earlier, man. I hate people sometimes. I really do. So yes, that's what we're going to, or that's what I'm going to end up doing is that. Look at that hot air balloon over there, man. But yeah, so I've got to also have a bunch of random trailers and stuff as well that I've got bookmarked on Google and on the Steam Workshop and all that. So stay tuned to see a whole bunch of new trailers and stuff on the channel. Um, some SES trailers and, you know, just a bunch of random trailer skins and whatnot. Some owner op type stuff because I do plan, I do have Joe Modding's Vanguard trailer. So we're going to do some kind of owner op stuff as well. And then I might end up getting John Ruda's step deck trailer as well as his uh, Great Dane trailer, Reefer. So we'll be taking a look at that as well. Super excited about that. I'm very excited about the step deck though because that step deck, you have a bunch of different loads. And they're like custom loads so it's not going to be, you know, what you get a normal a ATS course that dude is okay we're good so I'm very excited about that I think we're actually speeding now we're going 65 and an 80 so all these dang old trucks are governed there must be a coca-cola DC around here because that's like the fourth coca-cola truck that I've seen this guy must be governed at like 60 or something GTI Gordon Trucking ain't never heard of him. Ain't never heard of him. Oh, come on, dude. So as soon as I try to pass you, you want to speed up. That's how we're playing this game here. I mean, we've been going 65 this entire time. and You know, now he finally wants to speed up, man. That's not right. That's not sitting right with me. Of course, this person ain't gonna let me in. It's gonna go right in behind him. There we go. But yeah, guys, for all you um, you know young adults that are watching the channel, if you guys are you know getting ready to move out on your own and stuff, or you know you guys are looking for a new bank account, that online banking and stuff like that, um, go ahead and you know download Chime. I'm not a, I'm not a sponsor or nothing. They don't sponsor me for saying this. I just happen to you know open an account one day and I actually fell in love with the bank so you get your own you know debit card checking savings account stuff like that and one of the cool things though is that there's a whole bunch of different I think they said there's like 55,000 fee free ATMs in the United States that you can use so you can take your money out without a fee but they also have this feature called spot me so let's just say you have like five dollars in your account and you know you want to get dinner or something and it costs like fifteen dollars 
you can actually turn on a feature called spot me which will let you overdraft up to that certain amount with no fees so but of course after you know after that amount is set you can't go over that amount so if like let's say because right now I can spot I can you know overdraft up to hundred and fifty dollars right now with no fees so I can you know if I need some gas or you know something in a pinch and I you know paycheck don't hit till you know three days later you know you have that option to overdraft a little bit up until your next paycheck which then we'll just pay it right back and you're good to go they also have a credit builder card which is basically like a secured credit card it's pretty much a debit card you put your own money into it but it helps you build credit because they pay it off for you so whatever money you use gets put into like a separate account at chime or whatever oh boy here we go here we go I like how they said road work ahead but yet somehow Walmart truck ended up screwing up that's actually kind of funny it says road work ahead but nope it's actually freaking Walmart trailer ripping open but yeah so like I said I'm not sponsored to talk about it but if you guys want to check out a new bank Chime is definitely the way to go another thing though is for all you people that do your taxes or you did your taxes for last year let me know if you guys have gotten your federal refund yet because I ended up filing mine back all the way in February of this year and I still haven't gotten my federal I got my state within like two weeks but I have not gotten my federal yet and it's like I said this was being filmed on August 15th so it's just kind of like I don't know what to do I asked like, a couple of my buddies and stuff and they said they haven't gotten theirs either and they filed about the same time I did so I don't know if it's just like a national thing but then I've also talked to a few co-workers and they said that you know they've gotten theirs already so I have no idea I've tried to contact the IRS through like the phone and stuff and you know you can never get ahead of them or you know you can never get a head get a hold of them god man they really need to start making these accident things very you know they really need to start making this so they don't slam on their brakes it's just it's just ridiculous dude like typically I noticed people would move over like once that accident sign is shown they would move over they wouldn't just you know slam on their brakes like that like SES really needs to fix that because it you know I can't just you know go in 65 miles an hour I can't just stop on a dime like that so hey, SES y'all really need to fix your stuff on that but yes yeah, so I looked up on the website and it kept saying that it was approved but they were processing my payment and stuff and it's been saying that ever since February so if you guys you know if you guys haven't gotten your taxes yet do let me know if you guys have you know let me know I may just have to you know try to call them again but it's just just getting ridiculous with them man with all these stimulus is coming out and the child tax credit and all that and I haven't even gotten my last two stimuluses so like the 600 and the 1200 I never even got those so I'm probably going to have to claim that on taxes. I mean, I'm not too happy about it, but it is what it is, man. It is what it is. I know I switched banks. Ooh, boy. There we go. <laughs> I know that I ended up switching out banks, like, midway through, so I don't know if that had a factor in it or not. But it should have just went to my old account, which is, you know, still active. But I have no idea how these things work, so... But yeah, so we should be coming into Reno here soon. It's going to be one of my all-time favorite drops at Target, as we've seen earlier. So this is going to be a fun one. I don't know why they, you know, tend to use this uh, place as the only drop for these, but it is. So, yeah, I'm going to try to stay away from places like this now. <laughs> Definitely going to try to stay away from places like that. Try to do more flatbed stuff and, you know, tanker you know all of that fun stuff got a curve coming up here man very sharp curve up oh, Kraft Heinz is in the ditch oh, I thought they were in the ditch it's like another trailer exploded they just don't make trailers like they used to no they don't no they don't 
looks like we're actually coming into Reno here. But another thing, though, that I'm going to be a big thing that I'm going to work on is I'm actually going to reorganize my gaming room that I currently have. So I'm going to end up getting a new desk here soon, a new chair, because the chair I have right now I got from a buddy. It was a used chair, and the cats are freaking tearing it up, even though they're not technically, I don't want them in this room because, you know, they will tear stuff up, but they've been tearing it up, and just the outer, like, leather of the chair, or the fake leather, I guess I should say, is just, for some reason, it's, like, ripping. Well, it's, I don't know, it's just ripping. Like, I don't know, it's weird. So I'm definitely going to be getting a new chair. Got to get a new steering wheel as well because this one, the clamps are actually starting to not want to work on it. So it keeps falling down. Looks like we're actually taking this exit here. Do that. I'm actually going to also get a shifter to make ATS and other games, you know, more fun to watch. And, you know, watch me shifting gears and stuff like that. We're going to take a left once we get to the stop sign. Turning left, will do. This might be a fun one. I'm just going to say that right now. No, we're good. And then I have to set up track IR once again because I haven't... I keep saying I'm going to do that and I haven't done it. And then I also have to uh, set up the rail driver. Same thing. I've been saying I'm going to do it and I never do. So we got some Walmart trailers over here that just randomly turned into Walmart trailers. Very cool. Okay, this is uh, going to be a fun one. Make sure we don't hit that triangle. We're good. I'm going to have to wait for that car. Oh man, you yeah, rear-ended the pickup truck, man. Ooh, that Ford got rear-ended someone, and then he got rear-ended. I guess that other driver got took off or something. I think we're just going to be right on the outskirts of Reno here for today's load. I think it's, what, 33? Oh, it's 30 through here, so... Intermo looks like an intermodal facility to our left. A dealership to our right. More Walmart trailers, man. We're going to make this light. I don't even care. We are going to make this light. There we go. We did it, boys. We made the light. And then it looks like it's actually going to be a right at the target, and we are going to be set. Oh, I thought that dude was about to go. I was about ready to slam on my brakes because that day Ross looked like he was about to slam on his brakes. Well, at least they give you some room to actually turn into here, into this one. Unlike the other ones, they don't really don't give you any room whatsoever. So they want it at the very, very end. So I'm wondering if I can just pull it all the way over here, since there's no cars, and then pull it to the left. And just kind of go T-bone, not really T-bone, but just kind of, you know, hit up that car real quick. Oh, the window's been rolled down this entire time. I always forget that, man. I always forget that I roll down the windows and I never roll them back up. So they want it at that very far dock, so that should be no issues for us. There we go. Nice and easy, nice and easy. I 
It's kind of weird though that like a grocery store like this has such a pain to back up. Typically, I know like a lot of family dollars and you know all those are kind of you know a pain in the butt to actually park because there's actually no dock and sometimes the back doors are very hard to get into. Okay, we are on the grass. I don't want to be, but we honestly have no choice. We might actually get this the first try. Kind of keep wiggling it a little bit. There we go. Now get my tr truck straightened out with the trailer. Now they actually might they actually might take that. It's weird that there's a curtain trailer in the dock. They like it. We do too. Let's go ahead and cut the engine and let's go ahead and unload the cargo. So we ended up getting a satisfactory today. 424 miles, 86.2 gallons of fuel for $20,237. That's going to go and do it for this one, guys. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. I'll catch you all later. Peace.